Hey, what's going on? Evan here. I just want to make a, a quick video on how to get FFmpeg working with Houdini. And the reason that's important is because if you're trying to save out a flip book, you really don't have any, you don't really have like many options. You, you only have video for Windows and then QuickTime. And since there's no QuickTime for Windows anymore, if you use this option, it's just going to error out. And then you can use Windows or video for Windows, but it's just AVI. It's kind of outdated and gives you a really big file. So FFmpeg is a much better alternative that will give you low bit rate, but good looking play blast. So I'm going to show you how to get that working because unfortunately it's not as simple as clicking install. All right, so go ahead and close Houdini because we don't need that open for now. And we're going to search FFmpeg. And we're going to go to this website right here and just click on the download button. And let me just resize this really quickly. And where, where it shows the windows, you can hover over that. And then we're going to look, we're going to click on where it says windows builds from, I have no idea how to say this, but it looks like it says Gaian.dev. And what we're going to do is where it says mirror at GitHub, we're going to click this link right here. It's going to take us over to GitHub and we're going to download the full build.zip. And I'm just going to save that and hit show in folder. And I'm going to extract all so that we can unzip the archive. And once that's done, I don't need the zip anymore. So I'm just going to delete that. So let's go inside by clicking, double clicking this. And I'm going to rename this. And I'm just going to rename it to FFmpeg to make it smaller. And I'm going to copy this folder. Well, actually, let me go inside really quick. All right, so let me go back out. And actually, I'm just going to hit Control X so that I can cut it. And I'm going to go to the C drive, and I'm just going to paste it right here. Now, it may say you need administrative uh, privilege to do that, so you can just hit Yes. And so go inside one more time, and then also click inside the bin folder. And we're going to copy this path right here with Control C. And then the next thing that we need to do is go to the environment variable. So if you start, if you type in ENV, you should see this where it says edit the system environment variables. And so we can open that up and then click on environment variables and then scroll down here until you see where it says path. And then I'm going to click on new and then hit control V. You need to make sure that it's going into the bin folder. Uh, otherwise it won't work. And so then we're going to hit OK. And just to make sure that's working, we're going to hit CMD or type in CMD in the Windows search and then open the command prompt. So now if we type in FFmpeg and then space and then dash and then V, or actually I think it's dash version, then it should tell us what version that we have. And that has confirmed that it is indeed working. So now let me close this and let's open up Houdini again. All right, so I'm going to open up the project that I had before. I am just going to let this play a few frames just so that we can have it preloaded, pre-cached. All right, that's good for now. So now let's go to file and then export, or actually I'm dumb. Let's go to uh, the flipbook and then flipbook with settings. And I'm just going to flipbook the first 50, 50 frames. And I'm going to turn off resolution right there. So it just does the viewport size. All right, so now we're going to go to file and then export. And now we'll see there's another option called FFmpeg. And so I, I would like to point out one one thing that's kind of annoying is that if you try to export something with uh, with a resolution that has an odd number, it'll give you an error that says not divisible by two. But it's fine. You can just change any you can just change the last digit to be an even number and it'll work perfectly fine. And let's see. Then also, usually I'll change this to HQ, um, but I'll just name this uh, smoke really quickly so I can know what it is. And then hit save and let me bring that up. And here's our flipbook right here. And let me just click on the file. So yeah, we can see right now this this is 55 kilobytes. If you were to do the same thing using the AVI, it would be much a much bigger file. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I just figured this would be a good tip to share because the default options weren't so weren't super great. And this is kind of a, a better alternative. Because like I said, you get smaller file sizes, but it still looks pretty decent. But all right, I hope you found this tip helpful. Have a good day.